Hi, I'm Lisa Armstrong, the makeup designer on Strictly. And I'm Lisa Davey, I'm the hair supervisor on Strictly. And we're here together to show you how to create your favourite looks at home with ease. Na, 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 na. So today we're concentrating our efforts on the lovely Ed here because not everybody knows this, but boys do wear makeup too. So we're going to give him a lovely little Strictly makeover. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to take Ed's lovely hair out of his face. With the boys on Strictly, they whiz round the dance floor 100 miles an hour, lifting the girls up and down. So they tend to sweat quite a lot. So we just prep the skin in order to combat that, really. So I'm just going to use some cleansing water here across the forehead, down the nose and the side of the face. We're not going to cake him in makeup. We're just going to enhance his beauty. So now we're going to use a anti-shine. So this is basically used as a primer underneath whatever sort of foundation or base you're going to use. And it just helps the product to sit on the skin. OK, so now we're going to use a tinted moisturiser and it preps the skin for more of a heavy base that we're going to apply after this. And it's nice and light, but it adds a bit of colour and a bit of texture to the skin. And that already is starting to take shape. I'm going to use a tiny bit of under eye concealer just to take away any dark circles underneath the eye. Tap it on and blend it out. Now we're just going to add some powder. Obviously powder is important when we're working with the boys on Strictly. And it's just going to basically set the makeup and hold everything in place. So we're just going to finish with a tiny bit of lip balm and that's just lightly patted onto the lip. You're Strictly ready with your face, now it's your hair. So again, the biggest problem that we have is obviously when they're dancing, they sweat a lot. So we need to get products in that are going to hold the hair in place all the way through their dancing. I'm going to start by wetting the hair. Don't you wet my makeup? No, I won't. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. We're going to get some lift in the front. So I'm going to start by drying it through. Now the hair's dry. I'm going to use the mattifying powder. As you can see, Ed's hair grows forward and we need to get some lift in this. So if you take small sections and you just sprinkle it in at the root and then just go along, do the same thing right through to the front. As you start to push back with your hand, that's starting to take shape and do what it's supposed to do just with the powder. The next thing that I would use would be some texture spray. I just spray that through and then just move the hair around into the shape that I want it. But I'm just taking a tiny little bit of cream wax now and then I'm just going to scrunch a little bit into the ends. The mistake a lot of guys make with their hair is they just whack a load of wax into it. Too much. It's too heavy and your hair is just going to flop. Doing these steps will make your hair stay where you want it to be. And then I'm going to finish this off with some hairspray. Stand back, Lisa. <laughs> and that's just going to hold everything in place. You can tweak your final little bits that you want. And then a final little tip, which the boys seem to like and use quite a lot, is just to give it a little bit of lift, just get a tail comb, poke it in, and then you can just lift little bits that you want to and just break it up a little bit. And then if you want to give it a final spray, as soon as it's strictly. And that's probably a quarter of the amount of spray that the boys actually put on the hair. So there you go, a few Strictly tips for you on male grooming and now he's ready to go.